welcome to the part 3 of lecture 2 in this model in this module we will talk about different choices of model selection criteria or how can we choice a model among the many models let's consider these three models how to choose one of the three models or one of the two models among the set of models now if I have to compare two models a model 1 and model 2 how I compare if I have to compare mod model 2 and model 3 or model 1 and model 3 how do I compare so or if I have to compare all the three models and I have to make a judgment which model to choose how do I compare now statistical inference tells me okay given a model whether a particular predictor has a significant effect or not those kind of analysis I can do but I if I have many models which model to choose once I choose the best model then I can do a statistical inference so now we are going to talk about how to choose a model from the set of many models most popular model selection criteria nowadays I would say uh, root mean square error the main purpose of the predictive model is to make accurate prediction so we compare the them based on their prediction accuracy and root mean square error does exactly same so if you look into the root mean square error it is basically y sub i the i -th actual target value minus the predicted value of the ith one this is the residual of the error or the epsilon i square them up take the sum take the average so the square error and then average of the square error it gives you the mean square error if you take the square root of that mean square error you get root mean square error that's how it is defined yi is the actual target value and yi hat is the predicted value so naturally if you have three models you look into the root mean square or error of all the three models and then choose the one which has the highest sorry which has the lowest root mean square error so for these three models i will calculate the root mean square error of this model then I will calculate the root mean square error of this model and then I will calculate the root mean square error of this model these three models I will compare them and I will look for the model with the minimum root mean square error that will be my choice another model selection criteria is very popular called coefficient of determination or R squared now R squared is typically known is defined as 1 minus sum of squares of residual by sum of squares of total sum of squares so what is sum of squares of residuals this is sum over yi minus yi hat square if you look into it carefully what is yi minus yi hat this is the actual value minus the predicted value so this is error square and sum so if you go back one slide back this is yi minus y hat square so error square and sum so this is this part is called total sum of square typically this is what is sum of squares of residuals now what is ss total ss total is basically sum of yi minus y bars whole square what is y bar y bar is simple sample average of the target values of the dependent values and what is sum of squares of regression sum of squares of regression is basically y i hat is the predicted value minus the y bar square and you choose the model with the highest r square or the higher r square so r square is the proportion of variance of the target variable that is predictable from the feature variables so if you look into the, this is the residual sum of squares of residual and this is the sum of squares of total so this is the part which is not explainable by your model 
so you subtract and one is sort of a, you know so it will be a proportion between 0 and 1 so you subtract that what is left with is the proportion of the variability that is being explained by your model so that is what it is defined as now if you there is an interesting results is there which uh, there is sometimes some misconceptions are there that for OLS the result states that for OLS estimator if you consider the least square estimator then SS total is equal to SS regression plus SS residual so this result you can prove easily you should be able to prove that you should not have any problem to prove this result for OLS estimator and as a corollary naturally you can show that 0 less than equal to r square less than equal to 1. Note that this result is specific to OLS estimator this result is not true for any other estimator for other estimators like say base estimator of beta or the lasso estimator or the bootstrap estimator or the reg estimator for any other estimator the result is not necessarily true so if you are using reg estimator or lasso estimator or base estimator you may end up having a r square which is less than zero or negative or maybe greater than one we don't know but it might be possible what my, what we are trying to say that it might be possible so this result is only true for ols estimator keep that in your mind if you i am not going to the proof of this uh, result if you try i think you should be able to reproduce the result by yourself it is not very difficult result to proof you should be able to uh, reproduce the result uh, and i am leaving that result as your homework now there is a variation of r square called adjusted r square in the least square regression the r square has a problem the r square increases as the number of feature increases so what happens if you keep adding more and more feature in your model or more and more dimension in your model your r square keep increasing so this is not a very good uh, model selection criteria in that sense so r square alone cannot be used for a comparison of model with very different number of feature variables because if the number of feature variables keep increasing then what will happen is the your r square will keep preferring the complex model than the parsimonious model in order to solve that problem of r square the adjusted r square are being developed adjusted r square is defined a slightly complicated way 1 minus 1 minus r square times n minus 1 by n minus p minus 1 where p is the number of features in the model and n is the sample size so when you are doing a model comparison that time you must use adjusted r square instead of r square that will be my strong suggestion that you should use adjusted r square not the simple r square there is another group of model selection criteria is very popular called akai key information criteria or simply information criteria uh, japanese uh, statistician famous akai key he developed this uh, information criteria first model selection criteria and that's why it is known as akai key information criteria or aic aic is founded in the information theory and it is defined as AIC is defined as 2 times P, P is the number of features, remember that minus 2 times log likelihood evaluated at beta hat. So P is the number of features and L beta hat given YX is the likelihood function of the regression model evaluated at MLE or OLS estimator. Now one can show, you can show that OLS estimator of beta is also maximum likelihood estimator. So they are basically the same for the standard linear regression model. So given set of models, our preferred model is the one with the minimum AIC value. Okay, so this is typically called AIC information criteria. 
there is another variant of the information criteria is also popularly known called Bayesian information criteria or BIC. BIC also in the same way founded in the information theory and Bayesian information criteria is defined as P times log N minus 2 times log of uh, likelihood of the beta likelihood evaluated at the maximum likelihood estimator or OLS estimator where P is the number of feature, N is the sample size and L beta hat is the likelihood function of degradation model evaluated at the MLE or OLS. So given again, given set of models, our preferred model is the one with the minimum BIC. Now we have seen these models that my three models I'm providing the RMAC R squared, adjusted R squared, and AIC BIC value of these models. Okay, and I'm giving you 10 second times, take your time and think which model you would like to choose, or we would should we should choose among the as the best model among the three models. Yes, we you are right. We would like to choose the model 2. Now why? If you look into the RMSC of the three models, that first model has 2.95, second has 2.47 and third has 2.93. So the 2.47 is the minimum. Based on RMSC, we would like to choose the model 2. Now if you look into the R squared, which is not the best one, adjusted R squared is better, but still if you look one to compare based on the R square, the first one has 0 0.75, second one is 0 0.83 and the third one is 0.76. Best R square is 0 0.83, hence again we will choose model 2. Now look for adjusted R square, the first one is 0 0.74, third, second one is 0 0.81 and the third one is 0 0.74. So among the three we would like to choose the model 2 again. Look into the AIC criteria. So uh, first one is 166.02, one, second one is 156.65 and the third one is 167. Second one has the minimum AIC so we would again go for the um, based on AIC we will go for model 2. If we compare BIC the first one is 170, second one is 162 and the third one is 173 so among the three Second one has the minimum BIC, so we will go for the model 2. So based on all five criteria that we discussed so far, model 2 is our best choice among the three models. So that is where we stop now. In the next part of this lecture, we will try to understand the complexity of the models. Thank you very much. Please keep continue watching this lecture.